We've got our VFO running and I've adjusted to 7 dBm out. I'm going to change the frequency and as we change the frequency power decreases so it goes down to about 5.58 dBm so if I was going to set this I'd probably go about halfway somewhere up here on frequency and I would adjust it to 7 here so I'd run a little over 7 to a little less. Not a big deal as far as I'm concerned. I didn't spend a whole lot of time playing with the, trying to get the exact frequency range because I wasn't really worried about it one way or the other because when I put it in the application I can adjust that relatively easily and I'm not sure actually what frequency I want to have out of it right now. But right now I, here's one end of the dial and here's the top end. So we're going from 2150 to 2095 so it's about 55 kilohertz of variation and that's be relatively easy to change simply by changing the varactor. I'm currently running with just two capacitors in there. I put in a 33 picofarad and a 43 picofarad. My two toroids, one measured 4.9 microhenry, which is exactly what it calculated out to be for the number of turns, and the other one measured 27.14 microhenry, which is within just a few hundredths of a microhenry of what it was supposed to be also. So things do work out as specified. Here's what the sine wave output looks like. Looks nice and clean. I can't see any problems with it at all anywhere. So we'll take a look at it on the spectrum analyzer also. Here you can see the spectrum analyzer output. This is the fundamental frequency here. And we're running about 22, 23 dB lower on the second harmonic, about 30 dB on the third harmonic, and about 42 dB or so on the fourth harmonic. So that's what the spectrum analysis looks like. And what we're going to do with now is we're going to run some simulations in, of the circuit and see how they compare to the real thing. Okay, we're here we have the circuit in the computer. We'll run a simulation of what we should get out. Now, what the problem I have right now is I don't have the proper diodes over here, so I can't look at the switched output over here. So I'll look here at the output of the transformer. So we'll run the simulation, we'll start that, and while it's thinking a little bit. Uh, this circuit, this software is available. It's LT Spice. It's available free. And it does a real good job of, it looks like to me, of circuit simulation. My frequencies and everything came out pretty close with what I had. So what we're going to do is we're going to move the probe down here to right there on the output of the transformer and we'll click. There's our waveform. Now it looks a little strange up here because we're getting aliasing which is because of sampling. So we'll go ahead and stretch it out a little bit. And right now I'm running from over here on the left for about plus 1.2 volts to minus 1.2 volts and it looks pretty clean and we'll do an FFT, let's see, fast Fourier transforms which will break it into a spectrum analyzer components. Okay, now we have the display over here to the left is a dB. Each line vertically is 10 dB. And if we take and put our cursor on this point right here, which is our oscillator, we can look down over here
and it shows us we're at 2.066 megahertz at that point and we're minus 3.1 dB so let's go over and look at the second harmonic and I do that simply by moving over on the screen to the same point there's my second harmonic and it's minus 27 dB so it's about 24 dB down from the carrier we go to the third harmonic and the frequency may not be exact because I I'm not getting the exact points on the screen but you see it's minus 36 dB down so it'd be about 33 dB down from the carrier we can go down to the fourth harmonic do the same thing with that and it's about minus 48 dB see over here's the points we were looking at here's the oscillator second harmonic third harmonic fourth harmonic we can blow that up simply by selecting that area and spread it out on the screen so what this does is it pretty closely resembles what we looked at just a little bit ago we said a little bit ago that the second harmonic that we measured on the spectrum analyzer, the second harmonic was 22 dB down from the carrier. See so in the carrier right there, that's minus 3.2, minus 27. So that's not a whole lot off from the 22 dB. And this is measures minus 36, and we started minus 32 and we measured minus 30 on the spectrum analyzer so what we can say is this simulation is pretty accurately described in the actual circuitry